Just in a chickies and pizza with <laughs> VR goggles, just looking at Janelle Monet's tits. <laughs> uh, more chicken fingers, please. No, that was for her, not you guys. <laughs> I'm talking to my girl. I'm talking to Janelle Monet's tits. <laughs> oh God, dude, VR needs to like. It needs to become a thing where I forgot the glasses today. Oh, but it needs fuck. to become a thing like the glasses, where it's not like the full headset. Yeah, and we like, can just be in chicken and Pete's. <laughs> like, hold on, I feel like being around sharks. <laughs> you would need like the two way or the one way glass though, so like you couldn't see that you were watching it. But on yeah. the way out, you're like, oh, "Dude, it's nothing but tits in, in these right now." Yeah, yeah dude, the old first forty eight mirror on your face, dude. <laughs> Google glasses. Yeah. Oh god, be incredible. That's good stuff. I like the 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 backwood shorts are nice. Thank you, you man. Know, Andy a... was fucking. I, so I got back from a trip the other day. First time I saw Andy at the club. And Andy was acting up. He was Andy act out. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah, helium. Oh yeah. yeah what were you doing, yeah, dude? Yeah. I was I was on one, dude. He was Andy on one. Well, yeah. Andy on one in a positive way or in a negative way? It was funny. It was oh, that's all. All right, positives. That's but positive. He was, he was going in on everybody. Oh, like, damn. Like first the like he like was like wrestling the manager and shit. <laughs> Wait, funny. really? Oh, you put Mike in a headlock. <laughs> what? You put Mike in. Mike was like, "Hey, Drew, what's going on?" And you were like, "Come here, bitch." <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Non regrettable. Non regrettable. Remember that the best. He was outside just smoking a blunt out front. And With like the PPA a PPA guy. I remember that PPA guy came through and Drew just started clowning him. I was like, "Yo, you ugly!" He's like That's ugly cool. shirt, mad wrinkled, never been on a hanger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like in his face. Yeah. He's like, "Where's your car?" <laughs> Also, the PPA dude, the PPA dude fired back. Yeah, he was, yeah. Like, he was like, "I'll tow your car. I'll tow your Crocs." Damn. He cooked him with that one. He usually, "I'll tow your Crocs." He didn't say you would tow my Crocs. You know, you're probably you were probably too drunk to even fucking feel that. No, yeah, you know, like it just bounced off you. That's I was not still on funny. the wrinkle joke, dude. I was like, "It's shit's wrinkled." You just hand him a car to a cleaners. He hands you a ticket back. No car. You're like, wait, how'd you enter this in the system? Yeah. I haven't drank since, dude. Two days sober. Really? Yeah. Oh, damn. I got twisted last night. No, I'm it's off. It's good to be back. I'm off the stuff, dude. Yeah, it's nice to have you, dude. Woo! Yeah, you got back from a trip, right? Oh, yeah. Where were you? The Far East. <laughs> Florida. Florida. <laughs> it's in Orlando. I've heard of it, actually. Yeah. No, fucking good time, dude. I'm fucking... I'm feeling jack. I went deep sea fishing. Nice. nice. Caught a trout. Really? I don't even have those in the sea. Or like a damn... What was it? <laughs> I caught, like, grouper, and, and I cooked them. Okay. I'm fucking, I'm Handy Boy James. Damn, dude. Uh, also, so impolite. Uh, Jeff Colella, welcome to the thing. Dude, oh my God. thanks for having me. Been Iggy a... Bazooki, episode some. We're back. No glasses. 17 or something. We're here. Uh, we're here around. We're, at, we're out of ideas. <laughs> we're struggling to come up with ideas. I was saying that to James in the way, and I was like, I was watching old episodes, and like I'd have an idea. I'm like, ah, they're going to call a place like that. Ooh, pretty similar idea I had. All right, we'll, we'll scratch that off the list. Yeah, here's the thing. There's only so many things. The show will go on forever. The show will never stop. It will decline in quality. It will get ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, oh, we're calling Drew's mom again. That's cool. <laughs> did you ever do that? Did you guys just prank call each other's moms? That'd be sweet. I think we've asked every guest if we could call their mom, but like, I don't know. my mom. I think my mom would get really attitude with you on the phone, and I don't know if we want to broadcast that for my mom. I think she would be like one of those people who'd be like, "Who the fuck do you think you are?" <laughs> Content like the la- like the lady who you and you called. Uh, uh, what was it? The five below. Oh yeah. As the sprout, dude. That one was such a short call, but so aggressive that it was funny. You're like, you turn that fucking music down. Yeah, dude. <laughs> well, you can turn the volume up quick on a call. It, it feels good. <laughs> so immediately have someone. Who the fuck is this? You went in for a good time, not a long time on that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. This episode's gonna be a short one. It's 400 degrees in here. No, no, I feel good. Mm. <laughs> the legs out, dude. The knees are nice. <laughs> Thank you. Good knees. Good chest, good everything today, dude. Apparently, I look jacked. Yeah, you were doing the combine with the homeless. Yeah. <laughs> For those who don't know, a homeless man literally on my walk here stood up like he was going to stab me and then mumbled. And I was like, what? And he was like, you look like you bench pressed 350 pounds. And I was like, oh, yeah, dude. You guys Bill Belichick? Yeah, it was the best feeling I've ever had. He whips out like a stopwatch. He's like, let's do fucking shuttles. Yeah. They see that vertical. Why don't you leap for me? <laughs> where's where's Drew? He's jumping for the homeless. I would have done it, dude. <laughs> I would have done He's it. He's doing cones on Broad Street. Yeah. <laughs> jumping for junkies, dude. That'd be the fucking. That's the new pot. I'd run for that. Yeah. I'd do a run for jumping for junkies, you know? Yeah. Let's see which one of these bums is going to join the Broncos. <laughs> 
fucked. It would be funny to like just get different homeless people to time you doing like athletic shit every week and then interview them for a little bit. Hmm. That might be the new pod. They have the time for it. Yeah, <laughs> they are not busy. Just hand them like a stopwatch and have them watch me kick field goals all day. <laughs> I feel like I'd be like like halfway through my forty and be like, oh, the dude's chewing on my clipboard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's selling your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he just picks up your bag. He's like, I'm just gonna walk away with this, dude. Help you today. Hey, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, this is Ricky Starfish. I'm hoping you can help me. Um, I was at Wawa last night and I kind of have a problem. I took um. I got some, like, supplements there. I guess they were, like, male supplements. There was, like, a rhino on the picture. Uh, or, like, like a Electro from Spider-Man or something. There was some kind of little character. I took, like, like a baker's dozen of them. And, like, now, like, like my legs won't bend at the knee. Like, my, my legs are fully, it's like two pillars. Okay, have you contacted anybody for medical care? I have not. Is this like um like something y'all get like a lot? Cuz I'm like I've hobbling around my house like a A-frame before. house. Like I like my legs, I can't I can't sit down at the table. I've just been standing. Cuz my knees and what won't did bend. You purchase? Uh it was uh rhino time. Rhinoceros time. And what store was this from? So I can look up to see what they have these in stock. It was the Wawa in the... It was, like, in the woods. In the woods? Yeah, it was in the woods. I don't know the, if, if that's, like, a, the city or... There's, like, trees. Okay. So I'm not sure which store you're calling from. We don't have any in the woods, and we actually don't sell those types of supplements. So you might have the wrong number. Um, I mean, I had a gobbler... I think that's indicative of... We like, don't even sell them right now, sir. All right. Well, is there any, like, stations, like, gas stations that are in the woods that have, like, supplements and turkey sandwich? No. You have the wrong featuring company. Featuring cranberry sauce? You have the wrong company. Rats. Okay. Yeah. Um, you might want to prank call a different company. Okay. <laughs> what a dumb bitch. Damn, yeah, she, dude. She got me. They don't have the gobbler year round. Dude. <laughs> Is that seasonal? That was devastating to you. Oh, that was God. a shot to the heart. Dude. Yeah, you don't know Wow Wow well enough to know they have one month references that don't stick around. You might as well have said Hoagie Fest, dude. <laughs> like, oh, I got my free coffee that I brought my own cup in for once a year. So I got a Wow Wow pizza. They're like, sir, that's been discontinued for three years. Uh,. <laughs> In the woods. Is so in funny. the woods. Yeah, there were trees <laughs> describing like, the woods. Yeah. Like rabbits, woodland creatures. They're like, we don't have a story in the woods. You don't know that. <laughs> they definitely have stores in the woods, dude. Dude, I like that she was like, we don't have that here. I know off the top of my head, okay? My boyfriend asks every time <laughs> I come to work. Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't know if Wawa does sell black rhinos. I don't think they do, dude. <laughs> Or it's a behind-the-counter type. Like, they'll, like, make you ask. You'll see those pills in, like, a bunch of gas stations. I've never seen anyone buy them, but it's got to be a good time. You know, I, yeah. one of the crackheads, like, on my block bought one from the Chinese store the other day. Like, while you were in there? Yeah. I, I go there to buy backwoods, and people go there to buy, like, beer usually and shit, but there was a guy in there buying beer, and, like, he's like, let me get one of them gold rhinos. <laughs> it was the big one. Dude, the pills are so big. <laughs> it's like an actual <laughs> rhino. Size They're the size of an AirPod. It's fucking <laughs> crazy. It's so nuts. If you if you guys would have called it like a like a heritage like a heritage or something like that, that's usually like a sixteen year old working there, and they definitely have the Rhino pills. So they would be like, is that another gas station? It's like it's more of like a, the convenience store without the gas station. It's okay. like a dairy. It's like a dairy convenience store in New Jersey. That's like all over. Call them up, Dude. dairy. Yeah, it's like, they're like, we got milk. And you're like, nobody needs that anymore. We've all, we've all been taught that milk was never necessary for any of our health. And they're like, we still, we're still in the Damn, business. Damn, is that true? You don't yeah. need milk for your bones? I mean, when you're like a baby, and then you're like, oh, you're four, you don't need these anymore. I drink, uh, like, so much. Milk? Like, still, like, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, putting it away. 
I'll do glasses of milk with a meal. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> that's so nuts. Dude, I'll, I'll like, I'll like drink, like I'll take shots of whiskey and chase it with milk. That's that's <laughs> insane. Never happened. No, I swear to God, it's good for you. It makes you feel strong. Like if you want to, <laughs> like that feeling where you're like, I can fight someone right now, dude. That's placebo, dude. Dude, chase that's a, just whiskey. Chase, <laughs> chase a double whiskey with milk. No, because my bones are fucking titanium. I have Wolverine bones. <laughs> Whiskey's confidence. Milk is is for the the physical. That actually gets your fucking girt going. You gotta try Perks and Black Rhinos. <laughs> Crush them up in the same line and just sniff them. <laughs> Whiskey and Rhino pills would be Andy acting out. That would be an Andy be act out, too. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I would have to chill. He was, in the, he was at the bar acting like a rhino. He was like, fucking... I'm literally going to call Mike after this and apologize. If I really put him in a headlock, that's crazy. Ah! <laughs> that's nuts. Mm. Hello. Hi, is this uh, the clock shop? Yeah, sorry, your your name popped up as a weird thing, so I thought you were a telemarketer. How can I help you? Oh, no, no problem. This is uh, Herb Gorgon. I, I was in the store the other day, and I was uh, shopping around for clocks. I couldn't help but notice they were all off by a little bit. Um, and I know this because I am the one person that is truly connected to time throughout the spirits in the universe. So I was wondering, if, like, do you need somebody to come in there and adjust your clocks? No, thanks. Are you sure? Positive. Well, they they're all wrong. Okay. But they're it's a time store. Yep. But the time's not right. Okay. Shouldn't it be right? <laughs> all right, never mind. <laughs> In my head, that was the one, dude. <laughs> I didn't have time. <laughs> there we go. That's, That's what it is. Dude, that should you... be how he hangs up every call. He's like, I don't have time for this. <laughs> you no, should no. call back and be like, yo, just a heads up, I did have a note for your hang up. Uh, <laughs> I think you guys could be ending phone calls a lot better. If I could pitch a tag, that would be great. <laughs> that guy sucked. He did kind of suck, huh? Yeah. Hmm. The I spirits, the spirits comment, I think he was like, the fuck, dude. <laughs> He's like, I'm out, dude. You think they get, like, their feelings hurt when you're, like, your clocks are wrong? Like, they're not fucking wrong, dude. I was, I was hoping that's the reaction. <laughs> In my head, that was what we'd get. Or if he was, like, genuinely, like, appreciative. Like, he's like, oh, shit, which ones? Like, the big one, the big display one? Yeah. No, not the display. Dude, we probably, probably looked like an idiot for the past two weeks. That's what I was hoping, dude. Damn, he didn't fucking give a fuck. He probably hated his life. You know, you are, really uh, learned, dude. Are cuckoo clocks real? I think so. Like, at 12, it... Spits out a bird. They're only in like Denmark uh, and such, but Denmark. Yeah, they don't have birds. The Dens use them. They don't have birds. <laughs> <laughs> the DNC. The Dens. The Dems. <laughs> See, I didn't think about that. I don't think I've ever seen one. I've only seen them in like Tom and Jerry cartoons. Yeah. I've never seen a real cuckoo clock ever. Yeah. You should get a cuckoo clock for this place, dude. That'd be cool. Yeah, that would be that would be nice. That's what should we call them back? <laughs> yeah, let's not get AC. Let's get a fucking clock that spits out a toucan. I feel like we don't need air conditioning, dude. We'll be fine. Open that mini fridge up. Get a cuckoo <laughs> clock. We'll be fine. This place will be tip top. It's got a fucking Alice in Wonderland ass studio. <laughs> Just keep the fridge open at all times. You keep offering people drinks, too. And they're like, you want to drink? You're like, is it fucking cold in there? And you're like, no, nah, no, it's cold out here, though. <laughs> Yeah, the milk is actually quite warm. The milk, dude. You just have three gallons of milk in your fridge. You think there's not a quart in there? You think there's not a quart in there? <laughs> Brittany Johan drinks three gallons of milk a week. What? It's not nuts. All she eats is cereal, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, dude. Animal. It's so crazy. Animal. Dude, I'm finding so much out about my friends today. Dude. Savages. Hello? Hey, how are you? Is this um, the number for the guinea pig on Craigslist? Yes. Hey, how are you? This is Joey Wheels. I was actually looking to uh, inquire about um, adopting the guinea pig. I do have a couple questions, though, for you. I, I actually, somebody just picked up the guinea pig this morning. Really? I yeah, I didn't take it down yet. They just came this morning. Really? What did, if you don't mind me asking, what did, they, what did they offer you for the guinea pig? I, they didn't, I didn't charge them at all for, the, for it. It was, oh, you gave him away for free this morning? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. All right. I mean, not a problem. I mean, yeah. Sorry. My, my son is a condition, and he, we're just looking to uh, get him a, a pet, so it's just real, yeah, just, real tough timing. Do you have any other guinea pigs besides the one? I don't. Just, just the one. Just the one? Okay. Yeah. 
and and did you guys get that at like the, a local pet store around you, or I'm just curious where I can maybe find another option for guinea pigs? Um, we got him like a year ago at PetSmart, Pet Petco, PetSmart, one of those two. I got. You. I'm actually not allowed in there anymore. Um, I I was at the Chick Fil A across the street the one time I had one of those cinnamon milkshakes. I'm sure you've heard of it before, but basically I went in there. Again, I guess the, I guess the bins were for the dogs to go to the bathroom, not really for the humans. So then I they basically never let me back in again. So uh, so I'm trying to get them through Craigslist now. I'm actually on the the banned list for Petco. I'm um, literally there's a picture of me in every single Petco, Petco across America right now. Okay. Well, sorry about that. Yeah, no, you're telling me. Um, I will try to find some other guinea pigs. Do you have any? Well, your son was allergic. Is that what the post said? Yeah. Okay. So would you? I mean, is that a certain type of allergy to the guinea pig, or would you say that it's across the board for guinea pigs? I I don't I don't I just I guess it's just all guinea pigs. All yeah. guinea pigs. I'm just curious because yeah. my son has a condition, so I'm just trying to make sure I don't you know set him up for for failure as well, and then you know we're just back here on Craigslist again. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Sorry to hear about your son. Yeah, no no arms, but we'll we're, we'll make it through. We'll make it through. Thank you very much. Yep. Okay. Here. Okay. <laughs> that was awesome. That was such a different route than I thought. I was like, oh, yeah. Dude, that was such a different route than I thought. I was like, we just got to roll with it. Called being, the audible. Yeah, being, being banned from every backup. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Dude. Oh, you know the cinnamon milkshake. <laughs> you guys know the deal. Do they have a cinny at Chick Fil A? They have, I think. Yeah, honestly, I was. I think I was part of the crew that like invented the cinnamon milkshake. We just did it one day. We brought it to management. We were like, "Yo, y'all, y'all aren't selling this." Yeah. And they were like, "What else ideas do you have?" We were pouring like cherry juice and shit. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, they did not take any of our ideas because we were sixteen. But you invented uh, the cherry milkshake. <laughs> yeah, <yourself? dude>. yeah. <laughs> you were part of a think tank at Chick Fil A. That's cool. Big think tank. What of their other we met ideas on did you participate in? Well, we banned a lot of people from the establishments. <laughs> uh... We really, we actually just kind of walked in and said, no, <laughs> no, and just kicked them out right then and there. That was really what I led as a, as a unit. Damn, a cinny sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I've never had one. Uh, Dude, I think I have some cinnamon rolls right now. I put cinnamon on my bacon as I'm frying it. Really? Oh, yeah. like caramelize it? A little bit. Yeah. Candied yeah. bacon. Candied bacon. Yeah. That's what we call it. Candy Andy. Candy. Yep. <laughs> Andied bacon, dude. Andy is such a more... Uh, flexible name for you to have it's nice well I'm, I'm slowly transitioning to andy how, are you how many patreon uh how many patrons do we need for you me and naeem to sit down and play a full game of Candyland? <laughs> i mean not many <laughs> for, dude, for free you yeah, guys should just do that today just get us Candyland. <laughs> 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 you think you, you think naeem would play Candyland? yeah for sure all right, all right. <laughs> Dude, when the Sixers win the championship, everyone from Patreon, Bazooka and Dureg, everyone's allowed to stay at my house. <laughs> For the day before the Sixers parade, everyone stays at my house. I want like 400 people in the crib, and we're just going to have the craziest game of Monopoly ever. Bring your own money and peace, because there's going to be a lot of pieces going around the board. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, Imagine if we have 300 Monopoly pieces at once. Oh, there's like eight thimbles. Dudes are like, I'm homeless. <laughs> People are going to be falling asleep standing up. <laughs> We're literally going to create homeless people in Monopoly, dude. When the Sixers win the chip. Oh, damn. If we lose tomorrow, none of this happens. But it'll be a good time. Mm. It's going to ruin everyone's Mother's Day. Yes. I'm excited. Let's do another call, God damn it. Yeah. Papa Jones, this is Quentin. I'm going to help you. Hey, Quentin, is Ben there? Uh, Ben is not here, actually. Okay, maybe you can help me. I'm uh, I'm actually the manager uh, for uh, Taylor Swift. Um, just trying to get you guys down to see the concert tonight. Are y'all going to the show? Uh, I wasn't even aware of anything Taylor Swift, if I'm being honest. You didn't know that Taylor Swift is in town doing her Eras tour with Phoebe Bridgers opening I... at the Lincoln Financial Center tonight? I had no idea, actually. You know now? I do. Uh, 7.30, doors, show at 8. Alrighty, so, so, you just wanted to call just to like... I was just letting you know, Taylor Swift is in town doing her Eras tour. She'll be playing stuff off of Red. She'll be playing stuff off of Fearless. Folklore kind of okay. sucks. She'll be playing stuff from that, too. Okay, alright then. Doors at 7.30. Um, yeah. Show starts at 8. All right, 
I'll let people uh, in my store know. Yeah, I, I don't really listen to Taylor Swift, so I, I didn't really have any idea, but now I do. So You've got a lot of yeah, catching up to do. She has six, count them, six certified platinum albums. Uh, two of them certified diamond, actually, so think about that for a second. And then, so put that on the Spotify, turn it up really loud in the store uh, to the point where it's, audible on the phone, and uh, we'll see you uh, doors at 7.30 at the uh, Lincoln Financial Center Alrighty, for the Eras Tour. All right. You have a great day. Thank you, friend. I love that. <laughs> he was this the guy that's so dumb that he believes <laughs> Taylor Swift's manager is calling <laughs> Papa John's and <laughs> being like, 7.30, we need to sell tickets. <laughs> We're it's not a bringer. <laughs> it's a bringer. They're letting me open. Here's the thing, Taylor Swift not selling how you thought she was. She's calling Papa John's. Mm. Yeah, I'll let everyone in my store know. I, mean, <laughs> I might be able to get like six people down there tonight. Dude, I don't I don't know how many albums she had, but I did drop three off the dome. That was that pretty was good. good. That's impressive. That good. You seem like a guy who definitely manages her. Yeah. At least to some extent. Yeah, I know what's on her rider. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. It's like this bitch wants grapes. <laughs> he's got. Oh, he was so genuine too. He's like, I mean, I don't really listen to Taylor Swift like that, but he's like, that's what's up though. That's I didn't even know. Sounds that's great. what's up. At the link, you said. Damn, all right, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell my people. <laughs> you just gotta call them every week and just have a new artist. You're like, you ain't fucking heard of DJ Bazooka, dude. dude. DJ Bazooka's gonna be down at the TLA this week. <laughs> this should be the new bit. We just keep calling this Papa John's and like telling them there's artists in town. Uh, run the jewels. Is it <laughs> Kung Fu necklace? That's something. <laughs> Oh, there's like this folk band that's doing like a written house. You seem thing. like a Lumineers guy. Yeah. I can just tell from the phone. There's an Elvis impersonator in town tonight. <laughs> <laughs> doing all his hits. <laughs> I want it audible on the phones. Yeah, we got a mall Santa coming for the next three weeks. <laughs> you know, have you seen the MJ impersonator in Philly? No. The one who was choked out on the train. <laughs> <laughs> was he? Yeah. The the, that, Michael, the Michael guy Jackson? who was killed on the train was an MJ impersonator. Oh, no. Are you serious? Yes. In Philly? Oh, no. It's in New York. No, no I'm talking about ours, dude. Oh. No, we got one, too. Oh, we have an MJ. He they, sucks, They haven't dude. choked him out <laughs> yet. <laughs> I was going to say, that dude needs to have his head on, head on a swivel, dude. <laughs> yeah, they're taking them out, dude. <laughs> I thought it would be so funny if that guy also got killed by Michael Jackson's real doctor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's just fucking a blessing in disguise. He's just ending pedophiles. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> He's dude. just overdosing pedophiles. Yeah. Oversubscribing. I, I can't wait for like 10 years from now when there's R. Kelly impersonators on the train. <laughs> uh, there's some people pissing on the train as we speak. I don't know. There might be some R. Kelly impersonators, dude. Yeah. <laughs> just jack like black dudes with Kelly. cornrows, dude. <laughs> that would rule. Is that center? Hey, this is Duke Lacrosse. I had a couple questions about my turtle that I purchased from you guys. Um, we don't sell turtles. Uh, you guys, yeah. used, you guys used to sell turtles because I bought one from there. Um, how long ago? It's at least like a year or two ago now. Nah, they've been illegal to sell in Jersey for forever, for years and years. Well, that might describe part of the problem I'm having because I did purchase a turtle from Value Pet Center and uh. Really? <laughs> wow. Well, no, and it's crazy because, like, he's he's performing normally in most categories. Like, he does mm -hmm. well against rock type, but, like, electricity bothers him. He's doing everything he's supposed to do, but he's, mm -hmm. like, a level 38, and he hasn't evolved yet. <laughs> hmm. And, like he, like, he knows hydro pump. He knows surf. He just, like, won't develop those big cannons out of his back, you know? Um, so you might have to buy those the cannons separately. Um, they sell the attachment for it on YouTube, actually. Um, they, okay. I would use the titanium screws, though, because the other ones tend to, um, they'll tend to rust down in the sewers when he's fighting. The so, gets it. yeah, you, I would use the titanium ones. They okay. do sell them separately, yep. And those, those will not rust when I'm Yeah, yeah, the titanium surfing. ones, they're, they are a little bit more expensive, but I would definitely, uh, recommend right. those over there. I'm, uh, I'm on Cinnabar Island and I gotta get back. Yeah, and, and the aluminum ones are just not strong enough. They They're are not. lighter, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll use the titanium. Alright, well I'm, a, I'm about to go 
blast eradicate out of this earth. So sounds good. Well, I wish yep. you all, all the luck in the world, and hopefully I'll see y'all guys. I'll see you soon. All right, thank you, brother. <laughs> no oh, wait, no one, one more question. Do you sell? Do you sell the water stone? The water stones? We don't. Yeah, that, we might be able to order it. Okay, I'll do some research. About, yeah, it usually takes about two weeks where it's coming. Okay, well, you've been a lot of help. Thank you so much. Not a problem. You have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, he gets it. <laughs> that guy gets it. Dude. <laughs> when he started rattling off. He's like, oh, yeah, he'll be, he'll be down there fighting in the streets. <laughs> the <laughs> the source. eradicate. <laughs> do you want to do that one again? Yeah. Do it? Yeah. Hello, animal. Hey, this is Duke Lacrosse. How are you doing today? All right, how are you? I'm pretty good. I have a couple questions about a turtle that I have. Um, do, are you familiar with turtles? Uh, hold on, I'll get you someone that is. Hold on one second. Okay. Hello? Hey, are you the turtle guy? Uh, we have some turtles, yeah. Okay, I just had a couple questions about uh, one that I had purchased uh, a few months ago. Um, I mean, okay. he's, he's behaving pretty normally. Um, he does like he does most things as a turtle would, like he performs well against rock mm-hmm. types, um, like doesn't like electricity. But my my problem I'm having with him is like I've had him for a little while now and he's reached like level 38 and he's not evolving at all. What was that? You know what I mean? Like he knows hydro pump, he knows waterfall. <clears throat> he uh, He just won't evolve. And I'm getting concerned that He'll just ne- never develop the giant cannons out of his back. <laughs> well, well, the first one it is. Yeah. <laughs> the first one it is. You know, when second thought, that first one was pretty good. <laughs> That's what I think. That's my opinion. It's like, what was that? You fucking talking shit about turtles? <laughs> he got offended. Yeah. Dude, fuck that guy. Just like, you the turtle guy? <laughs> <laughs> I like I have turtles. You haven't even got. You didn't even get to the cannons. No, I did. No, you said cannons. I said. Did you say back. cannons? I, think I said cannons as he was hanging up. <laughs> he was like cannons where I draw the line. <laughs> That's where he, he banged on me. <laughs> well, he said he doesn't like electric. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like finding that out with a turtle. He will kick a rock type's ass. Though, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine a fucking turtle guy who's like doesn't like electricity. This guy fucking shocking his turtle, dude. <laughs> Sky, first of all, sir, you probably shouldn't be putting your turtle anywhere near electricity. That's my first note. No, 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 you don't understand. <laughs> no, he handles it fine. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't very effective. Yeah, first one it is. Um, all right, that was great. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was really... We could do that call again. I love... You can do that for any Turtle won't evolve. <laughs> we can try it. <laughs> um, you can do a Charizard call eventually. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to teach him seismic toss. <laughs> I got a Snorlax in. It is awake all the time. It is really not how it was advertised. Did y'all watch like the cartoon? I did. I, Pokemon? When Ash's Charizard did seismic toss, it literally flew around the world and then like <laughs> dropped a bitch. And like, I guess it always landed back in Japan. <laughs> but he was well traveled. They were just blasting Team Rocket back to America. They're just like, get the fuck out of this country, dude. Yeah, those dudes survived like a, a fucking blimp crash. <laughs> yeah, how much episode. did they spend on blimps? Yeah. <laughs> just often just going down in hot air balloons and blimps. <laughs> it's hella air-powered vehicles. RV, how can I help you? Hey, how are you? This is uh, Kenny Wipe. I was just looking to uh, inquire about selling and trading in my RV, and I was curious who I should talk to about that. You, you traded it in? Yeah, yeah. What, what do you want to trade it in for? Uh, I'm not. I'm not quite sure. I kind of wanted to get a sense of what the value would be on this thing first. Yeah, we usually do that once you have a an idea what you what you know what you're looking at. Like to like for me to buy or for me to trade in. Yeah, for trade in and all that. Yeah, well, I was going to say. So, I mean, I, I don't know if, if this will help at all. I basically um, back in the day. So my my dad, little backstory here. My dad, um, you know, sold a company. We came into a lot of money. Not trying to brag, just that's like the fact of it. But then, so then we basically, he bought a type of memorabilia from movies. So I don't know if you've ever seen the movie RV with Robin Williams. Have you ever actually ever seen that movie? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. We, that, we actually own literally that RV, like that Robin Williams had. 
okay. like in the movie. Like I have the paperwork and everything. So like it's not even just it's kind of hard to value that because it's it's sentimental number one. But like on beyond that, it is seen. It's probably the last RV Robin Williams had been in. So like, is that something that you guys take into consideration on the value or? No, because you know, because I mean, well, what year is it? Uh, I mean, that's a great question. Like, t- probably like 2009. I, mean, I honestly, I don't even remember when the movie came out. Okay. Because oh, yeah. okay, I think it was 2005, probably. Yeah, it's probably even older than 2005, probably. Yeah, I mean, something like that. That's more like someone who like a, a collector. I mean, but uh, you know, when you look at the year, make a model of the RV. I mean, it's the the value is is what it is. Okay. Now let me ask you, just because I'm just trying to, again, I don't know a lot about RVs here, so I'm just kind of pick your brain here if you don't mind. Um, I had I had basically the the I don't know if there's a more technical word for it, but the poop tank essentially. I don't know if is there a more technical word for it, or, or do you guys yeah, just call it the it's poop a, tank? It's a black tank. Black tank. Excuse me. Black tank. Okay. So the black tank no longer has the hose, so a lot of the times it it can get pretty uh, sloppy, I guess would be the way I would describe it down there. Is, is the hose something that's very replaceable, or is that usually a deal breaker for the RV as well? Well, what do you mean, the, the hose that hangs out the side of the trailer? Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, you kind of need that. No, I know, I, you're telling me. I mean, it's, it's, it's <laughs> you're telling me. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that, right? So, but is the hose something that we can get separately, or like? Because again, I mean, it's. I know it's an older vehicle here. I want to make sure it's a hose that like Robin Williams himself would want to use and approve of. Well, I mean, all that's hooked to the tank, so you would probably just have to replace the tank. Oh, the whole tank, you think? Yeah. Okay. Now, would you guys be able to take care of the tank? As long as it fits. I mean, I mean, I mean. You know the tanks change throughout the years. Um, you know, as long as it fits in there and it's able to strap up, yeah. I mean, it, we should be able to do that. Okay. Does the tank have to be empty when I bring it in? Yeah. Okay, that's like a deal breaker yeah. too. Yeah. Okay, not a problem. Okay, so I, I will say this: there's does does a potential, I don't know, smell would that be like a smell in the interior? Was that something that would devalue it as well? No, I mean, all campers have a, a smell. I mean, as long as it's not horrible. Uh, well, I, yeah, I guess. I mean, we'd have to. I see you're more than welcome. We can, I could bring it down, and we could, you know, kind of go in the old lady together. But um, I mean, it's got a slight smell. I would say it is a little bit of a combination between. Again, I mentioned that hose not being, you know, there. So definitely a little bit of that in the interior, just because you track it in on your shoes, stuff like that. But also, to be honest, I was like homeless for a year or two there. So I was doing a lot of uh, less showering, more smoking the ganj, if you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. If it smelled a lot like ganj, now that's legal in New Jersey, is that something that's like you guys could fix? Is that okay? No, I mean, there's really no way to get that smell out. Re- what? Oh, really? Yeah. But the other smells would be easier to get out? Well, no, like I said, everything's going to have a smell. I mean, just, just something right. that's old is going to have a smell anyway. Right. But so certain smells are better than the than other smells, right? Like so, weed, for example, not a great smell. Poop, more yeah, doable. Yeah, I mean, I I wouldn't buy anything that smells like weed. Okay, would you would you buy something that smelled like poop? No. no. Okay. All right. All right. That's just trying to get a sense of value here. Okay, not a problem. And then the last question for I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dan. Dan, thank you. I really appreciate all your help here today. So last question I had for you is essentially, um, if if so I had I had basically why I was homeless for a year there is I actually had an ex wife that kicked me out of the house. She caught me with the girl from seven eleven down the street, which its own can of worms it is what it is. But basically she came in and just absolutely I mean, took a knife to most of the interior in there, like the couches, you know, the 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 dining area set. So I mean we we kind of shredded that. Is the interior something we can replace just because not only does that have a lot of knife marks in it? Um, no, you that, have to take that to a, you would have to take that to a poultry place. A poultry place? Yeah. Okay, but I was just say so part of that she she's part of the smell when it came in there because she was part of she actually it's disgusting, but it's like revenge, like literally poops. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's like I've had enough, dude. He was he was pretty game for a bit. To not even be like fuck you, like leave me alone. Just immediately hung up. He the... was he was pretty. I think you pissed game. him off with the uh, with the comment of like, would you buy would, something it, that smells like poop? Would you buy something that smells like <laughs> weed? He's like, absolutely not. But you're like, you you would buy something that smells like shit though. You said that. <laughs> you, said that. <laughs> you pulled one of those off. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't thrilled about that one. He wasn't thrilled about that one. That one that was fine. Poop yeah. Guy. I, that was more poop talk than I thought we'd get into. Well, it's so funny to be like, yeah, you know, like my dad owns a business. We came into a bunch of money. And then it's like I have the RV from RV. My fucking girlfriend tried to I'm kill homeless. me in it. I've been homeless. I'm homeless. It, it smells like shit and weep. <laughs> I have not taken great care of it. <laughs> I have the paperwork and everything. The RV from RV is not doing well. Dude, you were giving me, like, number signs. I'm like, I I forgot. Five. I'm like, I missed one of your numbers, so I, I have no e idea where we're I honestly don't up. even know when that movie's from. I guessed 05. I think 05. 05 would be really good, dude. RV. 09 felt wrong. 09 definitely felt Robin wrong. Robin Williams. Maybe 2006. 06. Damn. The last That's pretty good. The last great PG comedy, if I do say so myself. Last time I saw JoJo in something. JoJo? Yeah, I haven't seen JoJo in a minute, dude. Who's that? I don't know that musical art. You don't know JoJo? This thing got twenty four percent. She's no Taylor so Swift, was... dude. But oh, she's <laughs> fucking the Rotten Tomatoes. Is stinking. That, that lady, JoJo. She's like a musical artist. Yeah. No, oh, I don't know her. God, look at Robin. God bless him. God bless him. How'd they get the RV up on that mountain? Remember that wife? How you drive it up on the, the peak of a mountain, Robin? You crazy? Shit, I don't care Remember myself too. That wife was in everything, dude. <laughs> Robin Williams' RV is also a rock climber. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> It's like, yeah, this RV can literally free solo <laughs> Everest. You didn't know. This is my RV, Alex Honnold. <laughs> where, where the Millers just took the concept of RV and made it rated R. They're like, we'll smuggle funny. drugs, yeah. dude. Yeah. Jennifer Aniston does like a strip dance in that. Yeah, it's sweet. I, I remember that. Like 45 years old. Where's her tits when you need them? She was 70. Yeah. Like, <laughs> god damn. Dude, yeah. I wish she did concerts where she flashed cans. Old Rachel? Rachel, uh... Green, Rachel Green. All right, yeah. The whole time she didn't have a job. She, no, she was like bad at coffee. Jobs. Yeah, yeah. I think Chandler had like a real job. Friends was so good. She's like, could my friends be any more unemployed? <laughs> We're doing <laughs> friends jokes now. They just cut to when the camera cuts away. He's just paying every bill. He's like, I fucking hate these guys, dude. It's Joey, the struggling actor, never paying rent. Joey ruled, dude. Dude, I remember like two years ago, the actor that played Gunther, like the bar guy, yeah. died. Oh, really? The, co the coffee. Don't thing. even know who that he, is. He, like, died. He was, like, a minor character. And I remember seeing so many people being like, Friends was my favorite, and Gunter was the star of the whole thing. It's like, He's done one every, like, yeah. 400 episodes. Yeah. <laughs> like, I barely know him as anything other than, like, I remember that guy kind of vaguely in the background. The wackest celebrity death to be, yeah. to be torn up on Facebook on. I don't remember Gunter. I remember Joey, the spinoff, when Joey got his own show. Oh, was it like a dark, gritty one? It lasted like... <laughs> it's like Joey doing Sin City. It lasted like four episodes. It was just him and chicks. It was just making out with chicks. Cool. It's just Drake and Josh. <laughs> I think they were like, yo, there's no script in this. You just wanted to make out with chicks. <laughs> we get it, but no. Like, uh, the pilot, we're going to get Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. We're going to bring Rachel Green back in as a, <laughs> yeah. a fill-in. That's always a... Uh... Actually, never mind, because I used to talk about that on stage. All right. Yeah, say a lot of stuff. It was gay. Hardware. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, this is Nigel Foote. I'm hoping you can help me. I'm uh, I'm looking for, a, like, some tool info. I'm looking for, like, a hammer. You guys have hammers? Yes, we do. Okay. Um, In your opinion, what's the best hammer to play whack-a-mole with? Uh, I guess you're doing a kid game. Did you want to receipt? Yeah, like, I got these, like, weasels. Um, in my in my apartment, I got like four or five weasels, and I'm like training them to come out to like pop their heads out. Um, yeah, I so like a rubber mallet. Okay, so you have something like that in the store, like some, something something yes, weasel yeah. rated. Yeah, sure. Okay, how much do those go for? Like your standard weasel? Like don't like up sell me, but like up sell you? No, the price is the price. It is the the smallest one is eight forty nine. The next one is thirteen ninety nine. Thirteen ninety nine. Okay, and that's that. It is certified like weasel rated. Absolutely, it would be perfect. All right, thank you. Have a great day. Thank you so much. All right. Well, hardware stores sell rubber mallets. <laughs> <laughs>
And, right. and you guys have that? And how much does that usually run? Here? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> it was just so to the point. That was just an ad read for the podcast. <laughs> it's just like we're sponsored by fucking whatever hardware. Truly, I like. I don't know if immediately she was like, "This is bullshit." I'm gonna fuck with them. Yeah. Or, or if that's just a thing they have. If they have like a big goofy looking mallet that says bonk on it <laughs> she was just genuinely like you can go there or a carnival you can get like the balloon kind where you just we talking weasel yeah what you want what you want dude i want to call from a different number and say i'm a clown and i would i need a giant wooden sledgehammer <laughs> <laughs> oh dude good spider-man shit yeah that was she was she was uh really to the point she was not trying to sell you she was just giving you facts upsell you 13.99 Rubber mallet is what we'd recommend. Out the Swing door. by if you'd like. Bring a couple. You're going to want a truck. This thing's <laughs> hilarious. Not a one, She didn't bat an eye at the fact that you're training weasels to go up and down through holes and you plan to hit them. She was like, yep. <laughs> she was like, we can sell you that. Do you need a drill or <laughs> a saw? Well, I'm sure there was a good call today. <laughs> we got some in, dude. It was good. We got some in. Robin Williams would have loved this episode, I think. I, I hope so. I hope I did him proud. JoJo more than anyone else, but but Robin Williams too. Can we call the slime store and say I have the flubber from Flubber? Yeah. He's making <laughs> breakfast and shooting hoops right now. <laughs> Robin Williams themed calls <laughs> the whole day. This was uh... we call Harvard. <laughs> We're just like... Do a goodwill on day. Hey, uh, I got a stepson here. He's a custodian. I was thinking, do you guys have any openings? He... <laughs> He's not great at math, but I think he could pick up just by kind of walking the halls. He's pretty good at sweeping. Yeah, he has a drug problem. If that's, I mean, it's it seems like you guys have had a lot of success with some drug induced uh, rambunctious. We just end it with calling a cemetery, being like, "This is Robin Williams. I just woke up." I thought I wrote I wrote one of the things down like that where I was like, "We should call a cemetery and just be like, so listen, this is super awkward.' My my brother was buried last week and." My mom was the one who dressed him, and, and to be honest with you, she put my wallet in his pants. <laughs> and you know how much of a bitch the DMV is. Do you think we could just maybe dig him back up? If I'm there to supervise, like if I give you the okay, do yeah. we? can we dig him back up? That's so good. Debit oh, card's going to come in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Uh, Jeff so Goella. Dude, thanks for having me on, guys. You're the man. Uh, Big Boy Mountain. Big Boy Mountain, dude. Formerly yeah. known as the Sweet Heat. Formerly Sweet Heat, formerly Beer Naked Joke, formerly, who knows, dude, we're just we're just winging it out here. <laughs> we're just fucking winging it and doing episodes every, like, two weeks. Yeah. How often does Rusty Adderall out and then ask you to change the, the name? The whole time. The whole... <laughs> he comes over with so many fucking ideas, and I'm like, we can do one of those. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, it's like a kid getting candy. Dude, he hits me with... He's like, literally, we're on the phone yesterday for, like, an hour, and I go, all right, man, I gotta get out of here. He goes, yo, real quick, five bullet points about the podcast, and I was like... Five real quick bullet <laughs> points. What? That's He's awesome. Like, dude, it's so. Sometimes I'm just like, why don't you just sit down and let us fucking record the podcast? We'll figure it out. That's so. Five funny. bullet points is so funny. Rusty's the man. He is the man. He does come over though. He's like, yo, just a heads up. I'm fucking addied out right now. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I just worked a full day. I'm exhausted. Let's let's fucking do this thing. <laughs> this rules. Yeah. Um, Thanks for yeah. having me, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for coming, dude. Thank you so much. Patreon people, God bless you. Um, that's it. Marines, you guys rule. The Marines especially. Especially. Bazooki boys, God bless you. Marines, thank you for your service. Peace. Later.